Let's look at an amazing checkmate trap in the Joko Piano opening. This game was played between Victor Nord and Mikhail Chigirin back in the year 1874. So Victor started the game with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5. Pretty standard moves of Joko Piano. And now white castles, black plays knight to f6, attacking the pawn, white defense with d3, black plays d6. And here both the players have opened up lines for the bishop. And here Victor pins black's knight by playing bishop to g5. Black attacks the bishop with h6 and bishop moves to h4 maintaining the pin on this knight. Black attacks one more time with g5 and bishop moves to g3. And here Mikhail played a very tricky move h5, inviting Victor to capture this free pawn over here. Victor happily captures the pawn with a double attack on this f7 pawn. But since this white's king side has opened up, Mikhail doesn't get threatened with this double attack and rather pursues his own plan. He plays h4, attacking the trapped bishop over here. Victor captures on f7 and forks black's pieces. But here Mikhail played the stunning move of the game. Instead of focusing on saving his queen, he decides to go bold and aggressive and captures opponent's bishop. Victor happily gobbles up the queen and now Mikhail attacks white's queen with bishop to g4. Queen moves to d2. And now black centralizes his knight in order to control this key f3 square in the white king territory. Victor fails to understand the importance of this move, ends up playing a normal developing move knight to c3, which is a total disaster. The best move over here would have been to knock off this bishop over here with the move h3. But Victor plays knight to c3 and now no one can save him from losing this game. Because Mikhail started his deadly checkmate attack with knight f3 check, sacrificing a knight. It's a fork attack, so white captured back with his pawn in order to save his queen. And Mikhail captured the pawn with his bishop and here is the moment when Victor resigned from the game. Why, you must be wondering? Well, because black is now threatening to checkmate in the next move by capturing this pawn. And there is nothing really white can do to save his game. If white captures this pawn, then rook h1 is a checkmate. Let's go back. If white moves the pawn to h3, then black can capture this pawn. And now it really doesn't matter what white plays here because all of the moves are just simply wasting time and delaying the checkmate. If white plays h4 instead of h3, then the situation would not change on the board. It would be a similar situation to what we saw in the last variation. If white tries to play bishop f7 check, then king can simply capture the knight. And now h4, rook takes h4, queen h6, rook takes h6, bishop h5, rook takes h5, a3, rook h1 checkmate. Let's go back. If white tries to get his queen on the f4 square in order to control this diagonal, then also white loses, then it's just a matter of time for white to get checkmated. Do like this video and subscribe to my channel if you love this checkmate trap. And now it's time for the question of the day. What moves should black play in order to checkmate the white king? Let me know your answers in the comments box and I'll see you in the next video.